your partner that came with you when he, when he retired from Attorney General's office, was he already into immigration or like? So he actually, we have a super weird partnership. He doesn't do immigration at all. Oh. Um, he is a commercial litigator and he is the national expert on RICO law. So whenever you're reading a random article about Trump, it might be quoting my law partner. Um, he um, and I are really good friends, but we don't do anything like in our practices that intersect. We've tried over the years um, because, you know, litigation is much more uneven in terms of revenue and immigration law, especially corporate immigration law is like pretty steady. And so over the years, there have been attempts where we've said, Jeff, you should do some immigration law, but he's he's like 10 years older than me. And he always was like, nope, I know my thing. And so, so yeah, so, um, so really all, well, for sure, all of the immigration practice of my firm is me. And then he does his thing. Um, but I do have three attorneys now who work for me. So we've, we've built the immigration team over the you years. Know, this is probably like a whole different show, but like the idea of having a law partner does something completely different and how that all works and even why it would work like because it's how does that it, it does it make sense i know i'm not i don't mean to be disrespectful it's like does it make sense or i don't know like how that, that works it doesn't make any sense really um initially we had some idea of some like sort of symbiotic cross referrals and that happens every once in a while but not on a regular basis um so I, I don't know how much I share about like our profit sharing or anything. Yeah, that, that, I don't know about that. Yeah, that. But, um, you know, I, I don't think it's normal. And I don't think that our arrangement between each other is normal. <laughs> um, but there's um, a lot of trust and friendship yeah. built up over the so years. It's a unique thing. It's not something like everyone could just pull out and do. Okay. Okay. I definitely <laughs> would not recommend it as a business model. It's a unique thing that works between two close friends. Yeah, it makes um, sense. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's really nice. I think one of the things about starting your own practice is that it can be daunting in terms of just like a lot of like malpractice insurance and setting up the entity. Like there were a ton of really specific technical, ethical, procedural steps that we needed to take to start our firm in the beginning. And he had been in private practice, had his own firm in the past. And so um, you know, having a law partner who was a bit older, who had that experience and wisdom and was able to like handle a lot of that was incredibly meaningful to being able to start the firm in the first place. So I do think like, just in terms of like tips for people starting their own firm, like there is a lot of that. You should be prepared to like figure it out on your own. Or if you do yeah. have, you know, um, a colleague who can figure it out with you, that's really beneficial. Mm-hmm.